Hello, Katie Winkler here. I wanted to make a short video to help you with your research for the travel project. Go to the home page and scroll down to the bottom. You'll find a link to the library and open lab. Avoid the temptation of putting anything in the search screen and go down to library guides, lib guides. Scroll down the page until you find British Literature 1. Click on the guide and then go down to Literature Resource Center. You will then need to put your username and password that you use to get in your Moodle course in order to access NC Live. I'm going to put Macbeth and James for James I of Scotland, who was king at the time that Macbeth was written. I earlier found an excellent article by Michelle Lee from Shakespearean Criticism. So that's a very scholarly source. And I go to it and I find that it has excellent information about the historical context that offers many different places that are opportunities for me to add to my itinerary. Um, and this is an excellent article, well written. It has other readings about the topic I might could explore. It is not generic, but it has information about the places. So I go to the citation tool, the little, two little quote marks, and I have the MLA 8th edition uh, defaulted there. So all I have to do is copy it. And this particular database gives me Google Drive. All I have to do is click on Google Drive and it will be sent automatically to um, there in the correct format except for one thing. And that is I need to give it a hanging indention. Uh, so I highlight it. And then uh, it took me a little while, and it might take you a little while, but work at it and get the hanging indention, which is where the first line is not indented and all of the other lines are indented. It's correct other than that. Notice that the title of the book is in italics and the title of the database is also in italics. This kind of attention to detail is what I'm looking for. It's not going to be easy to do quickly, so that's why you want to get started now. Next, we want to go to Cyclopedia of Literary Places. This is an excellent source if you are lucky enough to find your work here. Uh, Macbeth is going to be easy to find, of course, because it's a Shakespeare play. I'm going to use that again. And I click on Macbeth. And this is great. It lays out all of the significant, not all of them, but many of the significant places. Um, the rugged Scottish landscape talks about Burnham Wood and Dunsinane. It has historical context. It talks about the heath. So I could visit a heath when I go on my trip. I could go to Scone, where uh, Macbeth was crowned. It's a real place. Inverness is a real place. It tells me where it is. I could find it easily to add it to my itinerary. And at the bottom, you see the MLA 8 citation format. So you can copy that and paste that into your bibliography, as you saw me do before. Now we're going to go to Literary Traveler. This will take you out of NC Live onto the web, but this is an excellent place and you are allowed to use this source. Uh, I highly recommend it. So again, you go to your search screen. I'm going to put Macbeth in. Remember, I can also find things associated with the author Shakespeare. Uh, in 2016 was an important anniversary year, um, so it took me back to that year. This is a commercial site, so you're seeing a lot of advertising there. I'm going to scroll down until I see something, 
And there is William Shakespeare's Globe Theater, which definitely needs to be on my itinerary. Anyone who's doing Shakespeare should try to visit, uh, even if they're not doing the play that you um, uh, are studying. Again, it's a commercial site, so you get pop-ups like that. But this is excellent. It's got all sorts of inf interesting information about stinkards, um, people who stood in the middle, and um, it talks about Stratford-on-Avon and places you can go to visit that are relevant to Shakespeare and his plays, not necessarily specifically to Macbeth, but that's okay. Uh, you can visit places that are important to the historical context and to the author as well. So we go back and now we're going to go to the regular search, the digital collection to look for articles, eBooks and videos, that kind of thing. I'm going to put in uh, Macbeth, just simply Macbeth. And I quickly see that I'm going to need to narrow my search down that it's too broad at this point to just put in Macbeth because the collection is much bigger. And so I'm going to add to my search terms. And I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm just going to try important places in Macbeth. Let's see what happens. And I look and the doesn't look too good so far, but I'm going to keep scrolling. There's a French article. It's not going to do me much good. That looks like it's not going to work, and I'm getting worried. And then I come to this from The Guardian. National Fall is Fair campaign tries to tell the real story of King Macbeth. Hmm. Interesting. Full text online. And I read the abstract and find out the tourist route will highlight places from William Shakespeare's play that were significant to the real Macbeth. This is a perfect article for me. I go to citation, the two little quote marks, and there's the work cited that I need. I hope this has been helpful to you. We have reviewed some of the resources available on the British Literature One Library Guide. We've looked at Literature Research Center, Cyclopedia of Literary Places, Literary Traveler, and then the search engine for the digital collection. If you have any questions at all, if I can help you with this project, don't hesitate to contact me. I'm here to help you.